G'day, this is James and Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee. Great turnout today, overcast. Despite the weather, it's, yeah. A, yeah, it's a great turnout today. It's funny, we, we opened up the main lot first and thought, oh, we won't use the overflow lot unless we need to. Yeah, we needed to. Some cool stuff, what are you seeing? The Huracan SCO on the front row is definitely a, a winner for me, and then also the 300 SL, the Gullwing Mercedes. Oh, classic. Uh, we put right opposite the front row. It's immaculate, um, probably pulling some big money, I'd imagine. I would say so, for me, We've got a boat here of all things. It's a K boat, so true historic racing boat that actually has got some race history, which is kind of cool. It used to be uh, raced by a guy by the name of Gordy Jennings who actually built the motor of my Camaro. He was a uh, K boat champion, nine years running or seven years running or something. So amazing to see that. We'll check that out in a minute. Hey, uh, you go and look at some uh, exotics. I'll go look at some classics. Let's take a walk and check them out. As if the standard 4 GT wasn't rare enough, here we have a black one with a stripe delete, which makes this incredibly rare. Tastefully modded too, looks like it might be lowered and it does have a Whipple as well, which means this thing is pushing some serious power. Six speed manual, of course. In my opinion, the last of the good 4 GT, I just don't think that the twin turbo V6 cuts it. Personally, I don't think it's the same, um, but I really hope that in the future they'll consider bringing back a supercharged V8. wanted to show off this gorgeous Lamborghini Huracan STO real quick. It's pretty much a street legal track car that I think is finished in Grigio Telesto. I could be wrong. The only trunk space that you have on it, funny enough, is about a one by one cube. So it's a real track focused car with a functional roof scoop it and some serious aero as well. Carbon all over this thing. And the Performante style center exit exhaust, which I think is really, really cool. Very nice wheels, pretty complex, but they've grown on me quite a bit and some nice orange accents to tie everything together. Very, very nice. I'm stoked that they brought it out today. We got a stack of motorcycles today. Let's check them out. This is the K-boat I was talking about before. Raced one time by Gordy Jennings, apparently. Running a big block Chev, tunnel ram. Serious piece of kit. Because these things have a flat bottom on them, so uh, there's, uh, there's not a V in the water that's keeping you true. Everything's done through the uh, cab plates on the back and then go fast, pedal on the front. K-boats, of course, were obviously really, really quick class, and, and this one, I believe, I think he said it did something around 150 mile an hour or so, but extremely, extremely quick boat. Imagine sitting in this with your butt that close to the water during 150 mile an hour. You know it's quick when it's got to have aero on the back of it. So a piece of uh, marine racing history here, actually for sale, if anybody's interested. So a little 914 Porsche sitting here, um, you know, 914 of course was the Porsche that was made in the Volkswagen factory and oh, you never really expect them to be very quick and then you look into that mid-engine compartment down in there and that's right, that's a small block Chev sitting in there so I think this thing would have a pretty healthy power to weight ratio with that in there, I'm guessing it's probably a uh, 
a 350, but uh, got FI Tech fuel injection, so bolts to a standard style manifold, um, but obviously gives you the advantages of fuel injection. You simply run a O2 sensor in the exhaust, and, and then you've got a computer to be able to adjust it. But this thing's kind of cool. Roll cage in it. Um, I don't know what it would be doing for a, a transaxle in this thing, obviously, because it's not just like, okay, I'm going to put a Chev in it, so I'll put a Muncie behind it, or a, uh, a gearbox of that era. It's not that easy, but interesting, isn't it? Someone's put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of engineering into this uh, little 914. While we're on the theme of Porsches running V8s, Here's another one, regular. Thought I might as well show you this while I'm at it. Thank you, Look what's shoehorned in the back of that. That's an LS transplant. So rather than looking, as we can see over here, air-cooled Porsche, over this side, there is that LS engine. Now, the purists will cry, hey, you shouldn't put that into what was originally an air-cooled car, but in fact, this motor actually works really well on the back of a Porsche because they are, in fact, quite light, being an all-alloy V8. So tons of power not too much weight over the, that rear axle, of course, that can throw all the balance out of the car. So, just a different take on it. This is beautiful next to it though, isn't it? A little bit more uh, authentic, obviously running gear, but pretty car. And of course, better not forget this one over here, that beautiful slant nose, such a pretty look. Amazing the difference that that made on that car, that front end, isn't it? You know, the traditional front you'd see on something like a 930 compared to what we've got over there with that slant nose. So, completely different look on the car. Great to see these three Porsches together like this. Pretty 32 here, look at this. Oh. Notice what, what's under the hood as well. It's a Hemi running dual carbs underneath there. How cool is that? You know, most guys run 32s, they'll either run a, well, small block Chev, a lot of them will run, or the traditional guys will run a flathead. But a Hemi in a 32, that is not something I've ever seen before. This thing is beautiful, really nice color. Great interior. Actually, it's really neat, I'm looking for as I do, looking for flaws and faults on this thing, but I just can't see any. The colour's magnificent. Beautiful tyres, underpinnings. Everything on this thing is super neat. This is a real contender for Car of the Week. Love the racing harnesses in there as well. Nice orange leather interior, those sort of knurled instrument cluster there. Well, yeah, this is definitely a contender for Car of the Week. I really like this. I could see myself cruising down PCH in this thing. Very pretty. Let's take a look at one of my favorite cars that showed up this morning. It is a beautiful classic Mercedes SL300 with a uh, white exterior paint job and a black interior in it with a white steering wheel. This thing is absolutely perfect. The thing that's even crazier to me is that it only has 70,000 original miles. Let's just take a look at this thing. It is immaculate. All original, which I absolutely love. Super stoked that the guy ended up bringing it out to the show today. is something check this out you don't ever see these things done to this extreme well I don't anyway this is a proper um, off-road thing but very 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 nice I'm not sure mechanically what's back there I'm guessing that's probably uh, no it's not a Subaru engine because it's not a, a boxer style engine that's kind of cool the way they've done all of this I'm just trying to figure out what's in there It's very interesting. A lot of work, a lot of money.
Got some cool cars along here. 32 first of all. Not often you see them with the sides on. This is almost looking like a survivor hot rod, something that was actually built, you know, back in the 50s. It's really cool. I mean, it's, I think it's been made to look like that, but hey, who knows? There's plenty of other Survivor cars, really nicely done next to it. Previous car of the week winner, this thing's really great, isn't it? Blower sitting on top of that small block Chev. Gotta be nice and uh, tucked down in there. Fitting this thing, really interesting build. Another one next to it, beautiful car, huh? Another small block. Put the injection system on this thing. Really nicely done. Next to it. Chevy and next to another one finish up with an Impala plenty of chrome in fact you know what I'm gonna keep rolling through here there's more the more I walk the more I see look at this one through here that's really cool 1940 very nice and then another uh, super sport down here in Impala and then finally this thing here this thing is interesting I saw this come in that this thing's had a severe roof chop but you know nothing's been hidden it's uh, it rattles and squeaks when it comes in uh, and that's because it's uh, it's really the rust and a few few spot welds that are holding it together. But a bit of work being done to uh, enlarge the size of the size of the roof. Because of course, when you chop the uh, roof on a car and you bring it down because of the angle of that front windscreen, the roof actually has to become bigger to compensate for the fact that as you move it down, it's actually enlarging. So they've just put a couple of seams through it to uh, to enlarge it up through there. It's. Uh, you know the saying warts and all well that's this truck there's nothing uh, being hidden in there but it's got its own sense of appeal came in panels squeaking and rattling that's really really interesting
that's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, follow, subscribe below. Thank you to uh, all of our sponsors for making this possible. We have uh, McGuire's Polestar, Share, Next Level Detailing, Teen Road to Safety, Pacific <laughs> Airport, and then BMW Performance Center West, Align Financial Insurances, and Haggerty, and then Sweet Orange Adventures. Huge shout out to all of our volunteers for making this happen each and every week as well. We couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, do yep. remember, if the if you guys do want to become volunteers, reach out to us at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch on Instagram. That's where we handle all of our volunteer rosters. Uh, and then you do get to bring your car in early, and then Ruby's does all also offer a complimentary donut and coffee for every, anyone that's helping out. Yeah, and don't forget to follow that Instagram page as well. That's where we put up the latest merchandise. So if you want to get a heads up on what's coming, make sure to follow that page as well. Some great cars this morning, some really cool stuff. It was a good mix of everything this yeah. morning. Yeah, I thought the weather was going to kill it a bit, but it was it was a very nice day. That 32 for me, I'm going to go and find the owner of that, make that car of the week. There's some really cool stuff. He deserves it. Yeah, big thank you to Outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. Make sure to support the stores and the outlets, of course, at Rockwells and Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and donuts as well. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you, guys.